everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Me and little Miss Luna are here. She's just been being a good girl, chewing on some hay and enjoying the sunshine. So she and I are here today to share a little review for you of the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. Uh, this is the peppermint scent. And I got this soap at Whole Foods, but I've seen it for many years at health food stores. I think Walmart maybe even carries it. I know Target does. Um, and I always thought it looked interesting, but the label is kind of, um, it's, it's got a lot of words. <laughs> and so it seemed kind of intimidating. I was like, oh, I don't know what, what is that? And I've seen it in some people's bathrooms as hand soap. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share with my experience with you, share with you my experience, kind of what I use it for, what you can use it for, and why it is amazing. So, first, what what is Magic Soap? Uh, this soap is a fair trade, all natural, certified organic soap, and it's a pure um, it's a pure combination of oils: coconut oil, hemp seed oil organic olive oil, jojoba oil. Uh, this one in this case has organic peppermint oil. They have a bunch of other scents, so like rose and eucalyptus. So those would have that type of oil. Um, but yeah, so this can be used so many different ways as shampoo, hand wash, body wash. Um, I can you well, I did. I used it to clean the floors. You can use it as a household cleaner when you dilute it. Um, has so many different uses and it kind of is true because their kind of slogan is all one so that has a double meaning they mean all-in-one cleaner but they also mean all one as in people uniting um, if you have a chance you should take a look at the label it is a very interesting read and if you have a little bit more time you should Google or internet search Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap because there is a whole story behind this. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting. But this is a really great soap. When you use it, you feel clean. Very clean. Uh, I've used it as a face wash too when sometimes I've had um, like blackheads and you know, all that gross stuff. And it does the job. You feel, like I said, clean. So clean. So clean. And the peppermint one, I think is really good for using after you work out because they feel gross and sweaty and it makes you feel so refreshed, like you just doused yourself in a candy cane, but in a really good way. So I would definitely recommend you try this. They have all different sizes. So if you don't want to go for a big bottle right away, you can try like, a, I think it's six or eight ounces and you can see how you like it. I know they have... Um, a rose scent, eucalyptus, orange, lavender. They have a baby unscented one. Um, yeah, it is really amazing. There's nothing non-organic in it. And the way it foams up is through the coconut oil. So it says right here, no foaming agents. So there's no harmful chemicals that are creating the suds. Uh, in that way, you can feel good about using it on your floors or if you have small children or if you have pets like me. And I don't know why, but Luna likes to lick the floor. I mean, who knows why pets do the things they do. But I can feel good that she's not licking something like pine salt and possibly getting sick. So... Um, yeah, so I think it's just a great all-around, totally worth the money. It's not very expensive either. This one was a 16-ounce. I believe it was $8.99. They have a 32-ounce that is $9.99, so I kind of wish I would gotten a 32-ounce, but I wanted to try it first. Um, so I think if you have a chance, you should try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried it? What's your favorite scent? What do you think about Dr. Bronner's and the whole story, if you know it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, you can also tweet me at Imperfect Perla. I'll put the link down below. And don't forget to check out my blog. I'll write up a blog post about it in case, you know, you want to share it with someone else and videos aren't their thing. It's all good. So I hope you have a great Thursday and have a great weekend. And me and little Miss Luna... We'll talk to you later. Say bye-bye. She said bye.